Now that really grinds my gears. Ooh, ooh. I guess that's it, right? Ooh. You already saw what they were. Get a life. Registration card. John Madden. He plays football wearing a tie. It's in the game. All-Star Baseball 2000. This is a duplicate. I got this for three dollars. Three dollars. What time is it? It's time for the next episode of Complete Nintendo 64 Collection. We got some awesome games, we got one of my childhood favorites, and we got some tricky to get games complete in the box and manual. I'm gonna kick it off right here. Yes, Yoshi's Story. The second Yoshi video game where Yoshi was the starring character. Now one thing that I think is actually really cool about this box is I like this kind of black colorway it has going on. Look at that dark shade. That's a very rare shade to find on any of the N64 boxes, this dark color. And maybe it's just me, but I really like that. It also makes no sense. Why is there black when this is what the cover looks like? Oh, it just looks fantastic. This is a game that we had when we were kids, and you notice this box seems a little light. That's because to get this game complete with the box and manual is actually really tricky because since it's a Nintendo published and made game, everyone wants to charge an arm and a leg for it. But you know me, I'm not doing that. So I had to start with just the box for Yoshi's Story, but what's that? Spoilers from a separate person, a completely separate person for an extremely fair price. I was able to get just the cartridge. Look at that. Shiny and clean like it's fresh out of the bath, but no water damage. And yes, the manual. But wait, what was that peeking in the back? Manual super clean, and it came with the other original paperwork. So there's that Yoshi themed player insert, and then the Yoshi's story operation card. So this is one of those games that had an operation card. So I really wanted to get these because this is a game that we had when we were kids. I wanted all the paperwork. So I picked up just the box, but it also had the cartridge in kind of rough shape. And then separately, I was able to purchase for an even lower price, just the cartridge in great shape and all of the original manuals. So super happy about that. That was the easiest, cheapest way to get this complete in box. Now this is a game that we had when we were kids and it's really fun. This is a great game. There's no crying baby like in Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo. This is just pure Yoshi goodness where you're throwing eggs and you're eating fruits. Eat your fruits and vegetables. But the one thing that I think maybe could have been a little bit better about this game is when you're collecting all these fruits throughout the levels, it actually fills out around the entire screen to show you how many you've gotten. There's a, there's a better image right there. And it's annoying, it kind of blocks the edges of the screen. Like just put a number counter or something. So that's the one thing I think they could have improved. Don't put the fruits surrounding the border of the screen, but this is an awesome game. It's super fun. It's not easy to get complete in the box because people want to charge an arm and a leg for it, but if you get it in pieces for super low prices, you can do it. I believe in you. Super happy to have Yoshi's Story in the collection. What do we got next? This one, yes actually, funny enough. There are two Wayne Gretzky's video games for the Nintendo 64. Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey, and then this is the harder to get game complete in box. The NHL and NHLPA present Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey 98. So this is the second game that came out. The Great Ones 3D Legacy continues. So yes, this is the harder to get of the two Wayne Gretzky 3D Hockey games. Now, we played the EA Hockey game on the Sega Genesis as kids. And also, oh my gosh, I almost forgot my favorite hockey game of all time, Ice Hockey on the original Nintendo. I do actually have that game sealed, complete in box for the Nintendo, the original Nintendo. But this game right here, it's the trickier to get of the two, have the box in mint shape. Now it's not a super expensive game or anything, but to find it complete in box is very uncommon because not a lot of people bought it. A lot of people probably bought the first one, but I guess for some reason, a lot of people didn't buy the second one, so this one is not easy 
to see listed with the box and the manual. So very happy to have this. And again, it was a 99 cent auction that I just bid up a couple bucks. No one else was looking for this, not yet at least. They will in the future. Now we got it complete in box and oh, it's so mint. Red, white, and blue. More, more, we want more. This was a two game bundle that I got from a single person and they actually listed both of these games in individual 99 cent auctions and I needed both of them and one of these. Actually, both of these games are tricky to get complete in box. These are not common games. Uh, in particular, NFL Blitz, the first one I bought brand new back in the day when I had a Nintendo 64 as a kid. And the NFL Blitz, the first one, was my favorite football game probably of all time. Maybe besides uh, Pigskin Foot Brawl on the Sega Genesis. That game is just way too cool. Or Mutant League Football, similar to that. But this game is so fun. I didn't have 2001, and 2001 was the second to last NFL Blitz game on the Nintendo 64. The last one was NFL Blitz Special Edition. And this one, 2001, is very uncommon to see complete with the box and the manual. So there's your top, there's your sides. Looking crisp. And like I said, this person listed them. Look at that candle wax down there. What in Billy's name? Looks like they tried to scrape it off a little bit, but I might be able to. I'm not sure what I'll do about that. Um, but because the price that I got this at, I was like, you know, we're gonna have to get all waxed up with it. Like Mr. Miyagi says, wax on, wax off. So there's your screenshots. This does have an on fire mode, just like NBA Jam, which is made by the same people, Midway. Cartridge is excellent. Man, that wax in the back of the box is a very unfortunate, but you know, I knew what I was getting into, and I so rarely see this listed complete in box. And for the price, you know, it started at 99 cents. I bid it up a couple bucks and got it. And they actually combined the shipping since I won two auctions. They did that without me asking. That was very cool. And then All Star Tennis 99. This game is rare to find complete with the box and manual. But it was the same situation. These were 99 cent auctions that ended late at night when everyone's asleep. But I knew I had to stay up a little bit later to get them. I had to get them for the collection. Now, it's by Ubisoft. Very popular and profitable developer nowadays. Look at this guy, Chang. He, he's going hard with the tennis rackets. But this game is uh, very hard to find, complete with the boxing manual, especially for the dirt cheap price that I got it at. I'm just so happy because now I got this one. This is one I was worried about getting. And those 99 cent auctions, man, those will save your life. There's the manual, it does have a wrinkling down at the bottom, but for the price, I'll take that all day. You know why this one is rare to find complete in the box, because first of all, who was dying for All-Star Tennis 99 and not Mario Tennis? We owned Mario Tennis. I never even heard of this game. And let alone, if you did buy it, did you keep all the pieces in, in mint condition? No, you didn't. So super happy to have both these games. This is the second hardest to find NFL Blitz complete in box. And this is the hardest to find tennis game and also a rare game complete in box. And All-Star Tennis 99 did have the registration card in there. Bonus, squeeze a couple more games in here. Let's do these two first. We'll knock these two out. We got Madden 99 and absolute mint condition. This is an easy to get complete in box game. But regardless, oh, it's so mint. This is literally like shrink wrap just removed. And as you saw in other videos, I got a ton of the Madden games in a super bundle. So with Madden 99 registration card, John Madden, he plays football wearing a tie. It's in the game and in the manual super mint. They never played this. Or maybe they rented it to one person. But with this, I only need one more Madden game, Madden 2001, and then I have all the Madden games for the Nintendo 64. All-Star Baseball 2000, this is a duplicate. I got this for $3. $3. Complete with the box and the manual. You don't believe me, I'll, sh I'll show you. 
There you go. But I did this in a previous episode, but for three bucks, including shipping, it was bundled with another game. Of course, I'm gonna pick it up because I can do cart manual box condition upgrades. Three bucks, I'll, I'll take anything for three bucks. I will take a candy cane necklace for three bucks. You know what, before that last one, I got a manual bundle from a single person. Look at how safely they, whoa. Look at how safely they packaged this. This is what I recommend if you're shipping manuals or even just a box. Unfold them, put them between some pieces of cardboard and put them in a bubble wrap mailer. You're good to go. That way nothing's getting creased or damaged. Cause I've gotten a, just a manual before and they put it in a bubble wrap mailer and it comes folded in half. You know, that really grinds my gears. Ooh, ooh. I guess that's it, right? Ooh. All right, so what do we got here from the bundle? Hey, you Pikachu. So I can tell you right now, the three manual bundle, they threw these in, which is really cool. I always appreciate that. This is the second time someone has thrown in for free a manual of Hey, You Pikachu. That's how garbage this game is. But here are the three, ooh, four. I forgot I got four. Did they throw this one in? No, I got four from them. So this one started with this manual. This is a very hard to get manual. This is something you almost always have to get separately. The Star Shot Space Circus Fever Manual. I want the cart for this real bad. But this is not a game that you've ever heard of. I guarantee it. Not made by Info Games, made by Info Grames. Everybody's got spelling issues back in the N64 era. But I'm not gonna say a lot about this game until I get the cartridge. So look forward to this unknown gem, and by gem I mean garbage stinker in the future. You already saw what they were, get a life. This one, Disney's Tarzan. Again, I still need the box and the manual for this one, but I don't wanna pay silly prices, so I'll probably have to piece this one out. Not that it's, it's expensive, it's just uncommon. And funny enough, I actually donated this manual not this exact one, but I donated the manual only to some collectors that I watch on YouTube. And then later I started collecting N64 and I was like, damn, the Tarzan manual coming back to haunt me. But now I got it again. This game's really fun, but now I have just the manual in this four manual bundle. And then just so you know how it started was I bought this manual and I was like, hey, this is a pretty uncommon manual. And I let the seller know I'm trying to collect N64. Do you have any other manuals? I said, yeah, I got, I got some more, they gave me a list, and I, I picked which ones I wanted, they gave me an insane deal. So I got Tarzan for super cheap, Earthworm Jim 3D. This is another tricky game to get complete with the box and manual because Earthworm Jim is awesome on the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo, and he's not good on the Nintendo 64. So a lot of people didn't buy this game. This is obviously Earthworm Jim's first 3D game. It's made by Rockstar, who makes Grand Theft Auto but it's not a very good game. But that said, I need the cart and the box for this as well, but I got the manual already. That's, that's a very tricky part to get. And then this one, Pokemon Puzzle League. This is a puzzle game, obviously. You drop the blocks, you match them up. We didn't have it as kids, but my cousins had it, so I played it a little bit. This manual is just fresh, so clean and new. So I don't have the cart or the box for this either, but four manual super bundle. Show me your cards. Poker face. Really happy to have these, especially Star Shot Manual and the Earthworm Gym 3D Manual. And going back to the days when I had this, but gave it away to a collector. See, I donate to people as well. You know, I'm passionate about people who were passionate. And now we got it again, super happy about this poker hand. And then we got one last one. WCW Backstage Assault. Now this is not one of the best wrestling games because it was made by EA. This was not made by THQ and THQ made the best ones. I got this in a funny way. I actually traded a boxed Sega Genesis game, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, and I got that Star Trek game for $3 including shipping. So if it cost me $2 to ship that, then I paid $5 for this in the end and you're not gonna find this complete in box for five bucks. So if you can't buy it or you have things to trade that you don't want, then trade for it because that's how you will also get a super deal. 
You know, I didn't play this game in particular when I was a kid because the games that I was playing for wrestling games on the N64 were all of the THQ wrestling games. Literally, I started with WCW versus NWO, and I was like, whoa. I, that game made me like wrestling. I mean, Hulk Hogan was in it, which is, he's just cool regardless, probably not anymore. But that crappy old game with characters I'd never heard of, WCW versus NWO World Tour, is what made me like wrestling, and especially wrestling games. Card is mint and clean, got the original bag, manual is so crisp. Look at that, magic trick. I got the magic trick. Paperwork, happy about it, manual is mint and fresh. So if you don't wanna buy it and you have other junk that you don't want but someone else does, trade for it. That's even cheaper than buying. That's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this episode of Complete Nintendo 64 Collection. We are getting awfully close to the whole set. Yes, that's right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. it really helps support the channel. Click subscribe to join the Gadget God Squad. And if you didn't know already, I'm the Gadget God. I do the research, so you don't have to. Thanks for watching, everybody. And go on your own story today.